Hi, super great students from all over Costa Rica. Welcome to learning at home. <laughs> I'm teacher Graven, and I'm very happy to be here. Are you ready to start? Yes? Are you ready to explore, learn, and have lots of fun? Yes? Well, this is the right place to be. Do you have your pencil ready and your notebook ready? That's awesome. Now, what day is today? Yes, today's Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. And tomorrow will be Saturday, okay? And we have a new classmate today. Hi, Diana, how are you? Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, and we were supposed to have a new classmate, but I can't find it. She's right here. Hello, what's your name? My name is Arlene. Arlene the Bee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you want to say something to your classmates? Yes, nice to meet you. And I would like to invite the whole family to come here. Okay, good. <laughs> now, did you wash your hands, Arlene? Yes, I did, before class. What about you, Monica, Damaris, Marcela, and Ronald? Did you wash your hands already? No, not yet. Okay, don't worry. Please go and wash your hands. Meanwhile, today we are going to watch um, some videos from YouTube in order to learn English. Those videos are used only for educational purposes. Ready to start? Yes? Okay, here we go. We are going to watch a video from UNICEF and we have to pay attention to what they are going to talk about. Ready? So, hello Paola, how are you? How are you? You know what I like the most about my friends and siblings? That we are very different. I like to read and my brother likes video games. My best friend loves to go singing. I like to skate. My mom likes listening to music. and My dad likes to play soccer. The most beautiful thing about being human is that each and every one of us is unique and we all have our differences. Our country has very different people in tastes, beliefs, nationalities, and that's the same in every country in the world. For example, I love Caribbean food, but I also like food from the Valle Central. The best of all of this is that when there is more diversity, there are more interesting people we can meet and we have a lot more to talk about and learn. English is a tool that helps you understand other cultures and other ways of living and thinking better. So practice every day and you'll see how you are improving. Hope that was fun. See you soon with more tips. Bye! Thank you so much, Paola. That was a wonderful video. And thank also to UNICEF. You loved it. Okay, some questions for you. What are Paola's favorite activities? Well, she mentioned a lot, like the, um, listening to music, singing. Okay. And do you remember the food 
and the places that they like to visit or the food they like to eat? Yeah, she loves Caribbean food and they go to many different places, correct? And do you know what we are going to talk about this class, no? Mm, we'll have more information about that, okay? But first, we are going to review some democratic values from last week, okay? So let's look at this presentation. Now, remember that democracy is a form of government in which the power is given to people for a free electoral system. And let's see some democratic values. <clears throat> we have patriotism, justice, the common good, diversity, remember that word, life, and popular sovereignty. Okay? Mm, you see, we had a hint there. Diversity. Mm. And what are we going to learn today? That's a very good question, Arlene. So let's take a look our, for our lesson goals. Here we go. We are going to have writing activities. We are going to use background knowledge of vocabulary and expressions to get um, the gist of a text. And we are going to relocate information from a reading to fill in a text or table. And remember <clears throat> our self-regulation riddle. Mm, remember to ask your English teachers, your family, and your friends. You can even send text messages. Let's see. Ooh, that's a very interesting riddle. What is the most linguistically diverse country in the world? And there's a hint. Yes, Arlene. It's actually not in Africa. Correct. Mm. And we are going to have the answer at the end of the class. Mm. <laughs> so you have to look for that answer. Okay? Yes? Now, do you like songs and do you like to dance? Yes, I do. Well, we are going to watch a very short video mm, because I'm going to give you a hint about what we are going to learn today. Pay attention also to the landmarks that appear in the video, okay? And the nationalities. Okay, here we go. It's black, it's white. Oops, sorry, <laughs> my bad. Okay, now, do you remember some landmarks in the world that appeared in the video? Yes, the Eiffel Tower, the Coliseum, the Big Bang, mm, the Statue of Liberty, the Pyramids of Giza, and the Taj Mahal as well. Mm, it looks like you paid attention. And did you see some nationalities there? I saw people from India, Hawaii, Mexico, the United States, China, Jamaica, and many others. Mm. 
Now, do you know what we are going to talk about in this class? It's about cultural diversity? Yes, cultural diversity. And what is that? Well, it means that we have different cultures in our country. Do you know that Costa Rica is a diverse country? Yes, we have many cultures here. <gasps> really? Yes, we have people from all over the world living here in Costa Rica. <gasps> wow! And do you know how many cultures influenced Costa Rica? I would like to know that. Okay, so let's look at this presentation about cultural diversity in Costa Rica. Ready? Okay. So, we have the cultural diversity in Costa Rica. Let's see. Okay, we have many cultures that influence our country. Let's see some of them. Okay, first, what is cultural diversity? Okay, it's the diverse or different cultures and when we're having different cultures, respect each other's differences. The variety of human societies or cultures in a specific region or in the world. In this case, in Costa Rica. And what cultures have influenced Costa Rica? Let's see some of them, are Arlene. Okay, Costa Rica has some indigenous heritage. Let's see some of them. For instance, we have the Cavecar culture and language. We have the Bribri culture and language. Those are nice pictures. Yes, very nice pictures. The Nave culture and language. Also we have, that's the Teraba culture. Yes, and the Boruca culture too. I love those masks. Yes. <laughs> also, we have the Wetar culture and the Maleku culture and language. Uh -huh. Besides that, we have the Chorotega culture. <gasps> wow, that's amazing! Yeah, it's really impressive. Okay, let's see our next. Also, Costa Rica is being influenced by the Spanish culture and language as well as we have the Afro-descendant culture and language, especially from Jamaica. And right now we have the Chinese culture, um, sorry, Chinese culture and language. Mm, that's from Asia. Also, Costa Rica has a big food diversity. Yes, we have gallo pinto. Casado, we have tamal, olla de carne, rice and beans, vigorón and chifrijo. Mmm, delicious. Yummy, yummy. Wow, I would like to have a, uh, some rice and beans right now. <laughs> so do I. And in terms of music, Costa Rica has a huge variety or uh, musical diversity in Costa Rica. We have music from Limón, music from Punta Arenas, and music from Guanacaste. Okay, and let's, uh, now, what is cultural diversity important? Well, let's see some information about that. And we are going to have a writing activity. Okay, so let's have this writing activity then. So, why is cultural diversity a good thing? Well, cultural diversity is important because our country has many cultural and ethnic groups. We can learn from one another. Learning about other cultures helps us understand differences in the world. Next one, please. Also, we do not discriminate others with a different group. In addition, cultural diversity helps us recognize and respect others' ways of being. We can trust, respect, and understand other cultures. 
finally, diversity makes our country a more interesting place to live in. As people from diverse cultures contribute language skills, new ways of thinking, new knowledge, and different experiences. And I have a question for you, Erling. Why is cultural diversity important? And you have to answer, I think cultural diversity is important because And you have to, let's go to the previous one. Devolvámonos a la anterior, por favor. Okay? And uh, if you have some, okay, for example, here you, you have some answers. Now, Arlene, you have to choose only two. I have the ones that I got. Okay, so let's see what you wrote. Let's see our next slide. Oh, very good, Arlene. You wrote your answers. I think cultural diversity is important because we can learn from one another and we do not discriminate others. Very good answers, Arlene. Let's see our next one. Now, what are some values to promote cultural diversity in the world? Let me see. Mm, I think some values that promote cultural diversity are trust and respect. Very good answers. I love them. And what cultures do influence Costa Rica's identity? Let's see what you answer, Arlene. Let's see your answers. Some cultures influence Costa Rica's identity, like indigenous people, Afro-descendants, and Spanish people. Mm. Very good answers. Now, what about if we watch a video about the cultural diversity in Costa Rica? All the different cultures that we have here in our country. Ready? Let's watch this video. Wow, did you see Arlene? Yes, we have many cultures here in Costa Rica, people from all the seven provinces. Correct. I forgot about something, Arlene. What is it? What is it? I just received an email from a friend, from my friend, Karina in Australia, and I forgot to reply it. Can you help me out? Yes, I can, but I don't know what to answer. Did you read the email? Um, yes, I read the email. <gasps> And what did he say? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. So what about if we read it? And then we're going to know what we have to answer. Okay, so let's look at the email I got from my friend Karina from Australia. <clears throat> It goes like this. Hello, Graven. I am Karina. Remember me? I am from Australia. How are you? Next December, my family and I want to go and visit your country. But I would like to know more about Costa Rican's cultural diversity. What languages do you speak? What nationalities and native people do you have? What food do you like to eat? What music do you like to listen to? Hope you can help me. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Bye. Oh, and here we have some, infor uh, some important questions that we need to, to reply that email. What languages do you speak? What nationalities and native people do you have? What food do you like to eat? 
And what music do you like to listen to? Okay, and let's uh, read this information that is going to be helpful for us. Is Costa Rica a culturally diverse country? Well, let's see. Costa Rica is a country with many cultures and nationalities. First, we have a native groups like Bribri and Cabeca, and four of them still speak their native languages. In the last 500 years, Costa Rica has experienced important migrations. First, during the conquest, Spaniards arrived along with African descendants. That is why Spanish is the official language. However, some people speak English, Chinese, Italian, Bribri, Cabecar, Maleku, among others. Nowadays, we are receiving migrations from Nicaragua, USA, Colombia, Europe, and Asia. Therefore, we can find different types of food like Nicaraguan, French, Italian, Chinese, and of course, our traditional Costa Rican food. Here, we can listen to different types of music like Calypso from the Caribbean, tropical rhythms from the Pacific in Punta Arenas, and typical dances from Guanacaste. Cultural diversity is important because our country has many cultural and ethnic groups. We can learn from one another. Learning about other cultures helps us understand differences in the world and we do not discriminate others. Now, here we have a short text that is going to be helpful in order to answer, uh, in order to reply that email. Okay, are you ready, Arlene, to answer? Well, yes, I wrote many information. So let's see what Arlene wrote. Let's see about that. Oh, let's read your answers. Okay, now, can you help me at home? Hello, Karina, I am Graven. I am very happy that you want to visit Costa Rica. I am pleased to answer your questions about Costa Rica's cultural diversity. First, people speak different languages in Costa Rica, like English, Italian, Chinese, and Bribri, but the official one is Spanish. In Costa Rica, we have people from different nationalities, like Nicaraguan, Colombian, American, and Italian. Besides, there are eight native groups. Some of them are Cabecar and Maleku. In relation to food, you can find delicious nas eh, national dishes like gallo pinto, casado, chifrijo, and olla de carne. If you want to dance, you can listen to some music from different regions like the ones from Limón, Guanacaste, and Punta Arenas. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Take care. Okay? Now, are you ready to answer those questions? Well, yes, but I need some help. Mm, what can we do? What about if we ask a special guest, a new friend? <gasps> yes, please. Okay, what about if we have Kimberly Tatiana Hernandez Espinosa? Okay, now pay attention to uh, what she's going to say. Hello, Kimberly Tatiana. Hi, teacher Raven and classmate. How do you do? I am Tatiana Hernandez. I go to Las Palmitas Elementary School in Cagliari Guapiles. I am proud to live in the beautiful country Costa Rica. Do you know there is a huge cultural diversity in Costa Rica? Indigenous people, the American, Chinese, European, American, and other has influenced our traditional food and language. In terror food, we have many delicious dishes from different countries. For example, corn dishes from the indigenous food, rice and beans and gallo pinto from the Caribbean and African food, chop sweet and canton rice from the Chinese food, Picadillos and dessert from the Spanish food. And also, as a result of this diversity, the olla de carne and tamales. 
also people from Costa Rica like to dance. We have typical music from Guanacaste, Limón, and Punta Arenas. We are friendly, kind, and generous, and Pura Vida is a world way of living. Now I have a question for you. Pal culture influence Costa Rica? What are some typical dishes from Costa Rica? Thank you very much, teacher. We've been in classmate so long. Thank you, Kimberly Tatiana. And all your family as well as your teacher Roxana okay for all your help we really appreciate it okay now remember why is cultural diversity important well mm, that's homework for you now how many stars did we get let's see in the following presentation okay wow we got two stars very good and what about the answer for the riddle okay Rem Remember what's the most linguistically diverse country in the world, which is not in Africa? Well, more than 820 languages, that is 12% of, of the world's total, are spoken in Papua New Guinea, okay? So that's the most cultural diverse country. So, see you next Friday at 10.30 on Channel 4. It was Teacher Graven and Arlene. It was learning at home. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you. Bye. Take care. <laughs>